So after you've programmed one of the RDU 2020 radios and you've uh, listened to the little bells, whistles, and chirps, you might think that it's just easier if you could just clone the radios instead of having to manually set each one. So we do have a six unit charger that you can use to clone the radio or also a cloning cable option. This also makes it very easy for when you're out in the field, you get a new radio for a supervisor just to you know, take one of their good radios that you've already been using and just clone the new one to it. So to get into cloning mode with the radio that already has the settings that you'd like in it, make sure that the radio has been charged, have it turned off, then to get in clone mode, have the radio turned off, hold down the push to talk button and the button with two dots. Keep it firmly pressed down, turn the radio on, and then after it chirps at you, let the buttons go. And that was a very distinct chirp from what you were used to hearing. And also the orange light will flash. So take the radio that's in clone mode, put it in the very front pocket of your charger, make sure it's facing out, and then take your new radio. It also has to have a charge to it. Just turn it on normally, nothing special then put it in the tray directly behind it. Then with the radio that's in clone mode, the button with one dot in the middle, just tap that, distinct chirp, and you saw the light change colors on the second radio with a positive chirp meaning that cloning did succeed. Now just take the second radio, turn it off, set it aside. If you have another radio you want to clone, another 10 radios, you can just bang them out that way. You can tell if cloning did not succeed. See right now I don't have another radio behind it. You hit the button with one dot. And that was a negative noise, a bonk. But again, the noise to pass. Button with one dot. Success! So if you have any questions or need anything else, let us know at 2A Radio Center.